Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you guys want to know what I'm wearing on my face, I believe that the full face of first impressions should probably be should probably be up before this video so you guys can go watch that as well if you haven't already but that video took me like <laughs> a long time to film so now i need coffee to re-energize myself because that's how i'm feeling right now so i'm gonna need a little sip okay so the reason why i'm doing this video is because i recently posted on instagram if you guys don't follow me instagram you know i'll put it right here my social media links are also listed down below so y'all can go follow me come talk to me chat with me whatever let's be friends let's be friends um so anyway i posted that batiste is not cruelty free and also i posted that freeman beauty is not cruelty free and they make pst, dry shampoo so batiste dry shampoo <laughs> why do they call it that i also believe that not your mother's is might not be cruelty free but i'm not quite sure so basically this leaves us people who are ethically aware of things with little to no options so here i am with a video to talk to you guys about my favorite dry shampoos that i've used and it's kind of a bummer because a lot of these are like in the higher price range which sucks because we have morals and ethics so we're paying more but it's okay because you know why all of these are really good products so i don't mind spending more money on them so anyway let's just get right into the video so one dry i'm gonna do it into like two separate little categories here so we're gonna have like the powders and then the aerosols. So, going in with the aerosols, I mean powders. This one's old, I should probably toss it, but I feel like it doesn't go bad. This is the Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo. And I think that this is great and it's really widely accessible. Lush is at so many malls and that's awesome. So, I highly recommend this. I feel like it does kind of leave like a white kind of cast on your hair. So you kind of do have to like make sure to get it in there. But this is a really nice dry shampoo and I like it. And then we have the Kaya Naturals. This is the Take Sumi Detox Overnight Dry Shampoo. This is the color Brunette. And then what you do, which I guess is what you're supposed to do with all dry shampoos is to Put it in before you go to bed and then you wake up with nice awesome refreshed hair but anyway i really like this it smells really good i would say it's along the same lines as this powder shampoo but i really like these powder dry shampoos i think they're really nice this giovanni is another one of my absolute favorites and what i like about this one is that it's a two-in-one power shampoo and instant volumizer so this also does leave like a little bit of a dry or a dry cast a white cast on your hair but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this like towards your um roots and then it actually like gives like a little bit of a lift and a, like a texture which i adore especially with my hair it has like no volume in it so you know we're struggling out here with white girl hair like it's straggly my roommate Cindy would say that it looks like a broom, but you know, <laughs> or a mop, mop, broom, whatever the fuck, <sighs> who cares. Anyway, moving on to the second category that we have here. So what I like about the Giovanni shampoo, you can get it at like health food stores, which I feel is pretty awesome. It's not that expensive. The Kaya Naturals takes me detox i feel like this is a good one but you do have to buy it online so if that is something that bothers you you know we have a good array of options here for everyone another one of my favorites that's actually almost gone is the detox by dry bar dry shampoo this is in an aerosol can uh, I do really like this though. I think it's amazing. It smells really good. It is a little on the pricier side, but you can get it at Dry Bar. You can get it at Ulta. You can get it at Sephora. So if you have an Ulta or a Sephora coupon, you know, take advantage. But I do really like this. I don't know if I would repurchase it right yet because if you guys 
notice I do have a lot of dry shampoo, so it's not something that I'm going to need to repurchase anytime soon. And then something that I do really love are these two cake dry shampoo and conditioner. So this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner, this is almost gone. <laughs> But I love this. This is volumizing. This is hydrating. So this is really nice to like put at the end of your hair. My hair, I haven't washed my hair in days. But you just put it on the end. It makes it feel really nice. Especially if you have like hair like mine. It's like nasty and um, color treated and it gets like, it feels gross. This, this really helps. And then moving on to... I think I've saved the best for last. I just absolutely adore everything that I've tried from this line so far and I'm so excited that they have come into my life and they sent me so many products to try out and I'm so thankful. This is the IGK line and what they have which I feel is so awesome is that they have this jet lag invisible dry shampoo and it is a lightweight cleanse level and then they have the direct flight dry shampoo which is a medium cleanse level and then they have the first class which is the deep cleanse level so you can kind of choose you know what level you would like your hair to be I've been really enjoying these two actually and I'll use this one like second or third day of washing my hair and then this one like fourth or fifth day because Y'all, if you don't know the struggle with colored hair, it's a struggle. Like, I never wash my hair, and I don't know if you, you're gonna think that's gross, but for me, the color stays in longer. I don't have to explain to you guys. You guys probably already know, but anyway, these I have been living for, loving for, love, and they are available in Sephora. They're a little bit on the pricier side, but I think it's worth it. Their products are really nice and they smell really good. And I feel like us as vegans and the cruelty-free community, we don't have that many like luxury high-end products that we can use. It's just kind of like, oh, here's this product that just so happens to be vegan. Enjoy. And it's like bottom of the barrel, like not that good if you know what I mean. So to have something like this is freaking awesome. So yeah, that completes my favorite dry shampoos for you guys all of these products are logical harmony approved most of them are from 100% cruelty free and vegan companies there's a little bit of something for everyone I feel like so no matter what you're looking for like I hope that you can find something within your budget within your hair type within your country. I know that's always a struggle. I am going to be leaving all of the, all of the, I'm going to leave all of the links down in the description box if you guys are interested. I always do that, leave my links down below. So if you guys are ever interested in any of the products that I'm talking about, then just go ahead and visit that down below. And when you guys do purchase from my links, it does help me out so much it helps me cover costs of things that I wouldn't be able to afford otherwise and no I don't make a lot of money from social media but the very little amount that I do it helps a lot so thank you guys so much I appreciate you all so I hope that this video is helpful for you guys so you know what brands are actually cruelty free also if you guys ever like question if something is actually cruelty free I would highly recommend going to the website logicalharmony.net I will link their website down below it's really helpful I get so many mes messages from you guys asking me what brands are cruelty free and whatnot and honestly what I do is I go on to her website and then I relay the information back to you guys if I even have time to respond because I get so many DMs, emails, things that I'm doing, I'm working. So sometimes if I don't respond to a message, that's why. But I do go to her website and I, that's how I do all of my research. That's the list that I go by for my channel, for my YouTube. So I find her list super helpful if you guys are looking if a certain brand is cruelty free. But all of these brands are completely cruelty free. 
but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye guys